Hello, uh, I hope you can all hear us. Um, we're, we're out in Norfolk and uh, we've had a couple of lovely days. The day isn't a lovely day. In fact, I'm not sure we will hear us because the rain is battering on the roof. However, it's brilliant this life, isn't it? Yeah, it's we had a big yeah, cooked yeah. breakfast this morning. We had a wonderful time out yesterday. We're on it. We're going to get. There's a bus stop just outside. We're going to get the bus down to Wells next to sea. This video really is about how we ended up with Flory, the motorhome, rather than a camper van. It's been a long process. It's a long story. We're going to try and keep it as short as we can because it's it's almost advice to anybody who was looking to buy a motorhome or a camper van. Things are changing for the better, but the last two years have been pretty tough and. To be honest, we went through a bad experience. So this is a bit of a uh, cathartic chat from us, I think, yeah, to yeah. just get it off our chest. So, here we go. In February, we put uh, a video up where we've gone to the NEC Motorhome Campervan Show at Birmingham. Hello guys, hello guys. We just, we just put a deposit down on our campervan, which we weren't gonna do, but we've got, uh, we think we've done the right thing. And we were always looking for a Warwick XL. It is. There you go. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Warwick XL is a specific form of panel van conversion. So they buy a van, an actual van, Peugeot or Fiat, and they convert it. They put windows in, they, they put all the gubbins inside, they put it to a certain layout. And a van is what I've always wanted to drive. Yeah. You've been well, more... you can have um, the, the Warwick Excel on a Fiat or a Peugeot, or a Peugeot but the um, Fiat do the automatic, but the Peugeot don't. Yeah. But, but gen you... generally, the, va the vans are smaller, yeah. more manoeuvrable, easier to park, easier to get down country lanes. That's why, and easier to drive. Yeah. That's probably really why I wanted to get a van. Mm. Sue was more into the way you, yeah, you moved well, on. Um, they're, they're small, aren't they? And obviously, you don't have the fixed beds. You have um, you have to make your bed up every night, being quite a big disadvantage. Yeah. A lot of people say that. That we, when we researched, a lot yeah. of people said that's a big inconvenience. Yeah. And you've sort of got separate rooms in a motorhome mostly, and much more, much more space, I suppose. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so that's where we were. So it was, it was. We're going to go for a van. And also it was a specific van, there was only one van that we could find that had a separate uh, toilet and shower. And that was a bit of a red line for you, wasn't it? I mean, a lot, yeah. of, lot of vans have, and motorhomes have washrooms, but you, it was a bit of a... Well, bit... I was quite keen, um, especially as I spoke to someone at the show, who was going from a motorhome to a van, and they said that they thought having a separate shower and um, really was a good idea. Yeah, and that's and what that's what the Warwick XL yeah, had. Yeah. So that's the one we wanted. That was rare. It's rare in a van. And you yeah. get it in a Mercedes, I believe, in Mercedes vans. Yeah. But very rare in a in, in a converted van. Yeah. yeah. So that was the van we wanted, and we, we were looking at new or second hand. We looked at second hand. The prices were just the same as new, but they weren't they? Weren't, yeah. weren't any cheaper, and. They were rare anyway. You couldn't get a second-hand van. Very few. Very there was few. maybe two or three out there, but they've gone as soon as you saw them on any advertising sites. So we we went to the show in Birmingham, and we said, right, we're going to put down a deposit on a new van, knowing that it could take us maybe 12 months to get one because yeah. of the deluxe, the supply problems it's been having, with, same as cars across the UK and, and Europe and probably the States as well lots of supply problems and therefore that's why they were taking so long. The salesman we spoke to, we put a deposit down and the salesman we spoke to said, uh, we pushed him and said, look, what do you think in terms of delivery date? And he went off and made a couple of phone calls and we thought that was a bit strange, but he, off, he went off and made a couple of phone calls. He came back and said, well, we've got a date of September. And we thought, well, that's all right, because it's only like seven months or whatever it was. Mm. So we, we, weren't, that, we weren't sure. We were confident it. No. in that being the case. And he actually, but he actually said, well, it might even be July, you know. So we know, okay. So we put the deposit down. Um, it was a, it was a big deposit, really, for us, you know, mm. in a lot of money, and um, but we really wanted this van. Higher than average as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Higher than from what I can. And a lot of, a lot of dealerships. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm looking at notes here because obviously I'm still, I don't want to miss anything out. No. Um, but. 
it got that was February. It got to March, April, May. We hadn't heard a thing from this dealer. Uh, it got to end of May. We still hadn't heard a thing. So I, I emailed and phoned, and and they said, oh well, we'll let you know as soon as we hear anything. I said, well, we've got any idea? Um, no, as far as we know, the, the chassis aren't in the country yet. So we got to the point where we thought, well, this is not, not happening. This is not happening by September. There's absolutely no chance by September. And we were getting to the point where we wanted something. Mm. Um, I'm mm. not getting any younger for a start. So, uh, well, no, none of us are, no, but, you know, <laughs> I, I wanted something yeah. really by the autumn if we could get something. Yeah. Um, we, we had a chance visit to a dealership in the Midlands because we were looking at, they, they had a Warwick XL, one of the vans we were looking at, second hand. It was seven years old. Yeah, and it looked a bit old. It didn't did it? look. It looked, it looked a, bit a bit tired. tired. Yeah. yeah. It, but a bit dated, a bit tired. So we thought no, and we said no, we, we won't go for that. And, he, and the guy said, oh, he said, well, we've actually got um, three of this model on order for ourselves, for our stock, because we know we sell them. So we pre-ordered. So we ordered these in about July in 22. So they should be here in July 23. Mm. And we said, okay, well, can you keep us in mind? We went away and had a talk about it. And we decided that these were stock orders. We couldn't choose the colour. We couldn't choose the layout. We couldn't say the layout. The layout standard. But we couldn't the choose... Yeah, and Yeah, that we couldn't choose any other bells and whistles no. that we could on, on the other one we ordered. Yeah. So I phoned the guy up and said, are you you're saying definitely July? And he said, yeah, yeah. And he, I said, okay. I said, what about price? I'm not paying any, any well, more. Well, he said it may be August, but... He said, it could, yeah. at, at push, it could be August, but we've ordered them a year ago, so we should be getting three of them in. So he said, so... I said, okay, look, I'm happy, as long as you agree the price now, I'm happy to put an order down. 2022 20, prices. 2022 20, prices. No, yeah. no, 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 23, 20, 23 prices. Yeah. So they ordered yeah. them at 22 prices, as, as according to them. Yeah. And I said, I'll pay you 2023 price, but I'm not paying any more. Because that was already a ridiculous amount of money for us. But yeah. we wanted this round. So we waited and waited, and it got mm. to July. And we went away and we heard nothing. Got to August, we came back. We, we, we pushed in July and he said, No, I've heard. You mentioned that you cancelled the other one. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So we went away and, and we first order we placed, we cancelled because we said, There's no way that we're going to get this by September. And they sort of agreed. They sort of agreed that they wouldn't be able to supply by September. So we cancelled the order and we got a deposit back, which is great. Yeah, we could have been waiting a long time for that one as well. Yeah, yeah. A really so long time. That's where we were. Yeah. Got gets to August and we were away on a holiday we've been pushing this dealership in, in the midlands and saying you did say july where is it oh it'll you know it should be as soon as we know we'll give you a shout saying exactly the same things as the first thing you were saying yeah well as soon as it comes off the lorry i'll phone you that's right yeah, yeah. yeah. we were on holiday in france and i got a text saying uh, your van is now ready for collection which gave us a panic because we were in france so we phoned up and they said oh, let me check so they checked and oh no sorry it was sorry sir it's an automated text it's not available yet but we'll let you know as soon as we we get the phone call so we get to the end of august and so you're, you're 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 starting to take over the conversations aren't you yeah so I, well, I was probably being a bit nice with the guy yeah um, well i wasn't nasty no it wasn't nasty but you know <laughs> you, you, you were starting to get trying to get answers i was trying to get answers because um he implied that it was being built in yeah. the in the country that van yeah oh well, that's right sorry yeah. they, they gave us a build number yeah which they, means, which means in theory it's actually in build at the manufacturers in the, in the, the, the van builders so the van converters yeah uh, in this country were actually converting it as, as he spoke so the delay was that they're perhaps waiting for a fridge or yeah. something like that yeah yes so and you, you, you had a conversation with him last day in August, didn't you? Yes, yeah. Right at the end of August, he said, um, oh, something about it all changing it, next it, week. Yeah, it'll all change next week anyway, but we'll give you a date, da, da. So We'll give you an update. Yeah, so on um, Monday morning, which was the 4th of September, mm. this, the guy gives us a phone call, and he says, um, we've got some really good news. He said, uh, we've got a date, a firm date. So we said, right, not believing it. Uh, he said, yeah, last week in September, or first week in October, so it's like, well, sure, yeah, oh yeah, no, it's, it's pretty much definite now, yeah, blah, blah. The trouble is, we've got some bad news too. He said, uh, the price has gone up, £4,000. But Sue's on the phone, and I can hear him talking. So I lost it. I, I did, I really, I got so angry. Because we've been waiting for this van no, for so long. No, more because you'd agreed yeah, the price, yeah. and he'd guaranteed the price. Yeah. 
say. And I think he'd forgotten who he'd spoken to. I think he'd forgotten who he'd told what to. I won't say lie, but say, well, I've just said it, but yeah, I think uh, he'd forgotten who he'd... I, I just suspect that those three vans, because we actually saw that on the screen, the yeah, three yeah. vans that I believe, were coming that's what in, we believe. I think they must have gone to someone else and we were just, they just assumed that we would wait and yeah. pay more. Yeah. And well, we put the deposit down, so I don't know how many people got caught in the same trap. I, I, I personally have never been so angry or so let down, I think, ever. I, I've worked for 40 years and I was always able to get over certain issues that, that arose. But this whole scenario with these with these new vans or or even old vans, you know, it, it's been the, the dealers have all the cards, the buyers have no cards, despite having to pay vast amounts of money. We've had no, you know, there's been there's nowhere to go because what do you do? You say no, I'm not accepting it, or okay, I'll pay you more money for the same van. It's an absolute disgrace. So what we did, we said. No, we're not. I, well, we're not you, you, yeah, I, yeah, I said I, I, I don't trust anything you're saying, and I can't deal with you. I can't deal with you because I can't ever trust what you're going to be telling me. So why would I trust anything about the van or when it's coming? You know. So I said oh, I want the deposit back, and I want it now, and we're pulling out the deal, which left us completely in limbo. This, well, this, not this, for long. No, no, it was going to come to. Yeah, but this yeah. was on a Monday morning at around half past nine. Yeah. We we're in complete limbo. Put the phone down. Subsequently, the next day we got an email saying, "Oh, actually, we could we could split the difference of the four thousand mm. pound, and we and we we will give you an uplift of two thousand pounds." I didn't even answer that. By that time, I'd, I'd written it off, and I wanted to deposit back. So that was that. So we we both got off the phone. We absolutely, I was really upset. You you were more phlegmatic, I think, about it. Mm. And I said, "Do you know what, Sue? Why don't you phone?" No, what, we just what? looked on. Oh yeah, got you to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just looked on Auto Trader and I saw all, that they've on, got. Online we've looked at motorhomes and we decided that Bailey Adamo was the one, the one layout that if we bought a motorhome would be the one that we want the yeah. 7540. That's right. That's right. It? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Bailey Adamo yeah. 7540 yeah. twin bed. We'll take you around, not this time, yeah. but we'll take you around the van and show you why we loved it so much. Anyway, um, I was looking around, very few of those available. Yeah. Almost as bad as the vans. Nationwide across the UK. Yeah. But strange enough, our local dealer, who's only what about ten miles away, yeah. had one advertised on their website. So I thought, well, sometimes you ring and they're not, they're not there. They're gone. Yeah. So I rang and said, you've got this advertised. Is it still there? Yeah. And um, he said, yes, it's it's on our forecourt. And we went over that day mm. and put a well, put a deposit. Bit, actually, there. a big shout out to the dealer. Yeah. Um, White, white arches. White arches. And this is <laughs> yeah, the arch bear. This is the archie bear. They're white arches caravans. They give you a little baby bear um, with it, which is quite nice. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we, w we went and yeah. there it was on the floor. And the story is with them, the reason they had it is that they bought this stand for stock, for stock and then decided yeah. to put it on sale. Yeah. So we were lucky in that respect as well. So in, in effect, Florida probably had a bit of footfall, people going and looking. Not at that them. much. No, because they haven't been there long. No. Uh, but after all that, after all that, you know, there's a lot of stress, a lot of, hat, lot of heartache, a lot and of anger. In less than a month, we picked her up. We picked her up. So literally, yeah. we cancelled the order on the van at about 9.30. We got to this dealer at around 11, 11 o'clock, 11.30, yeah. and signed on the dotted line at about 12.30. Yeah. So just brilliant. It's worked out so well for us. Yeah. And after, and we had, it had gone from a really bad day and a really bad month and a really bad, bad year to a brilliant, day in a brilliant month and a brilliant yeah. year. And I, I just think that it is a bit of a warning to others yeah. because if you put a deposit down on a van and you get made a promise, please just don't assume that, Yeah. The, <laughs> like you say, you don't want to say lie, but no, no, no. it, it elasticated with the truth. <laughs> yeah, elastic, <laughs> truth elastic is a yeah, good one, yeah. so yeah, that's it. Um, because I don't know how how many other people go through this but it just seems it's quite a stressful experience yeah 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 we we, we went to florries in in storage near where we live well we she's not at the moment no 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 we're sitting, no, 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 we're sitting out but, in the, um yeah but she, we do put uh, the, in storage. the guy there said uh he, he he visited one of the shows and he couldn't believe how customers were being treated you know he couldn't believe that this is this is probably this is really only since the pandemic because yeah. of the demand but the, the demand for these things has gone through the roof 
and dealers can therefore charge what they want and they can treat well they can customers. take deposit make promises that they know they're not going to keep is how right. it seems in our opinion well that's yeah yeah I, I've, we've seen online that things are getting a little easier with motorhomes obviously the, the cost of living crisis is now hitting people can't afford as much so therefore and i think probably it's probably well we thought that until we went to the nec show on last week mm. and the van that we put deposit down on had gone up by I think it's about 12 percent so 10 grand mm. 10 grand and I just it's I'm, I, and I, I was on that video and I met and Sue we walked around and I said I'm really glad we didn't get this because of this you know this is wonderful it's brilliant. Yeah. she's great love yeah. Florida don't we yeah, we have a brilliant yeah, time really good time so uh, yeah. we don't want to waffle on anymore that's what the story was why we ended up with a motorhome and not a van and actually we're really pleased how it's turned out we've already this is our second trip out we'll get, put a video up on this trip um it's been brilliant so far obviously we're going to go out and get wet who cares you know we had a lovely breakfast this morning that's the uk for you that's the uk for yeah. you yeah so yeah. you know one day it's lovely the next day it's not yeah so thank you so much for watching everybody uh if you've liked this uh, waffle then please give us a like uh subscribe leave us a comment on your experiences if you have any uh only was a comment if you haven't got a van but you just enjoyed the content and what you think about the situation that we've been through so thanks all for watching and Thank we'll you. see you see you next time see you next time bye see you bye thanks so much for watching guys so next week join us as we have a wonderful visit to a beautiful little site in north norfolk